off, we don't fight. Put on your cowboy boots and kick those spurs. The Western movie is making a comeback. Mohawk from 2017 may not just yet be the gold standard bearer for the returning genre, but it sure as all heck is high ho silver and a way better than we have been afforded over the last few decades. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, this most definitely is not. Mohawk is gritty and authentic, far from a cowboy production. Shot in and around Syracuse in the state of New York, set during the year of 1814, during the Revolutionary Uprising, when the United States has declared war on Great Britain, forcing the Native Americans to choose a side. Though dwindling in numbers, the Mohawk remain neutral. The time, though, shall come when they must fight or die. Their decision is made here, in Mohawk. A young female Mohawk named Oak shares a love relationship with a tribe member warrior named Calvin and a British redcoat turned trader named Joshua. The two young men are like brothers, and all together the three of them have a harmonious bond. But ever encroaching upon the land and assaulting their people are the blue coat Americans. The Mohawk have a tenuous treaty with both the Americans and the British. One facilitates a weapon trade to fight the enemy, and the other manipulates to take sacred lands. Oak Calvin and Joshua's world is turned upside down and inside out when one day an advanced scouting party of American soldiers led by a sadistic ranking officer and includes amongst his ranks WWE Man Mountain Wrestler John Huber aka Luke Harper crossing paths here with a band of three and experience first hand the self-proclaimed patriots are nothing more than pagan pillagers. Deliverance does death wish on a die-hard scale, as Oak and her two companions must fight to survive against this near renegade group of armed soldiers as a grisly game of cunning cat and malicious mouse plays out. Calvin attempts to lead the malicious men away from Joshua and Oak, to give them a fighting chance to elude capture. The cinematography here, taking in the dense wooded forestry and testing environment, is testament to the work of Karim Hussein, whose artistic flair shone through in another low-budget memorable outing a few years back by the title name of Hobo with a Shotgun. Much like that slice of B-movie brilliance, Mohawk delivers a gut full of grindhouse gruel. Mohawk is written by Ted Geohegan, no stranger to solid low budget filmmaking. With each new movie project, he is respectfully garnering a name for himself in the business and continues to be someone to look out for in the future. Here he also directs, Mohawk being his second full feature to helm behind the camera and a pretty darn decent 5.5 out of 10 showing it proves to be. Low budget, high tension, extreme conviction. Mohawk makes its mark. Mohawk defines being brave and fighting for the ones you love and the cause you believe in. Right to the bloody end and here just after the point where you might well believe that the movie is over. Oak declares squaw on those that put upon her and take from her. The hunting table is turned and it's time to get to her chopper to bring this blackened mohawk down. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.